one time. Good morning to you. That's right. Good morning to you. It's a brand new day for music, and I'm ready to rock with you. Good morning to you. It's Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Spiritual Breakfast. It's a great day to be alive. My name is Pastor Russ Zazik, and I'm the kids pastor at Church Alive, and this is Kids Alive Spiritual Breakfast. At Kids Alive, we always start with prayer. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for a beautiful new day that you have created. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins and loving us. Thank you for making us very special and unique. Uh, in your image we're created, Lord God. Thank you so much for that. I pray that you would forgive us for our sins today so we can be in your presence and we welcome your Holy Spirit wherever we are, in our living room, our kitchen, our car, wherever we're watching this, please come and be with us today. Let the Word of God go deep inside our hearts and change us from the inside out to be more like Jesus and help us to live for you, to honor and love and serve you, God. We pray for protection, that you keep us safe from anything that could hurt us or trouble us today, God. Keep us safe and help us to learn and grow. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's worship the Lord. everybody welcome back thank you for singing with us um it's time for our memory verse and we need scripture squirrel hey scripture squirrel hey everybody how are you doing today i think they're doing great i'm doing great how are you doing i'm doing great too what a beautiful day i know it is buddy hey do you have a memory verse for us to learn you know i do well can you tell it to us yes it is ephesians 2 10. Well, we just heard Ephesians 4.32, so this is from the same book. I know, isn't that cool? Yes, it's very cool. Well, tell us the verse, Ephesians 2.10. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which he has prepared in advance for us to do. Very good, Scripture Squirrel. I love that verse. I love it. You've got to get in the head again. Yes, uh, I do. I do, yes. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Take that off. Is that better? Yes, that's much better. Sorry about that. <laughs> I like the cat. I don't like cats. They eat squirrels. Right, right, right. Okay, my bad. So anyway, our memory verse, Ephesians 2.10 is, For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which he has prepared in advance for us to do. Great job, Scripture Squirrel. Can you say goodbye to the kids? Bye, kids. I love you. Thank you.
you, Scripture Squirrel. And now it's time for our devotion. Today, we're reading from week 13 in the Leaders in Training devotion, the fall year one devotion. And this is Romans chapter 4, verses 18 to 25. And this is about the gift of faith. So we're talking about spiritual gifts. And these are gifts that the Holy Spirit can give us. They're gifts from God. They're God's kind of stuff that only he gives because every good and perfect gift comes from above, coming down from the Father of heavenly lights who does not change like shifting shadows. That was our verse from last week. So let's, let's dive in and see what spiritual gift this gift of faith is talking about in Romans 4. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations. Just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. Without weakening in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead, since he was about a hundred years old, and that Sarah's womb was also dead. Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God, being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. This is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The words, it was credited to him, were written not for him alone, but also for us to whom God will credit righteousness. For us who believe in him, who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. He was delivered over to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. So this is talking about the gift of faith. And I brought my shield of faith out so we could think about faith a little bit. I like to have something to look at here. So... God is teaching us to believe in his promises no matter what the circumstances, no matter what things look like. If God has said it, um, whatever doubt comes at us, we block it with our shield of faith because God always keeps his promises. And he showed himself worthy of faithfulness. He showed himself faithful to Abraham when he gave Abraham a baby at almost 100 years old. That's not humanly logical. It's not possible that his very old wife could have a baby. After a certain age, ladies can't have babies anymore. But Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him as righteousness, and God kept his promise. God never fails. He always keeps his promises. No matter how unlikely, no matter how far off the promise gets, we can always believe that God is true and will keep his promise. One of the promises that God said when Jesus said, if I go prepare a place for you, I will come back again, that where I am, there you may also be. Jesus promised that he was going to go away, like he did, and he's coming back again to rescue us and bring us to the place he's made for us. That is a promise of God, and we can count on God as being faithful. And God will give us the gift of faith to believe that he is faithful, that he will keep his promises. So when doubt comes along and says, oh, God's never going to come back, and God's not real, and God's just a fairy tale, we block it with our shield of faith, say, no, God is faithful. He always keeps his promise. It may take a long time, but he will always be faithful. So let us pray right now that God will give us the gift of faith. Dear Jesus, please give us the gift of faith to believe your promises are always true. You are always true because you are always true. You've always kept your promises and you never fail. Fill us with faith the gift of faith, so we can trust and believe in you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we've got a new fellow coming out here with the armor of God, so let's check this out. All right, kids, it's now time to pray on our armor of God. Let's pray on each piece, one at a time. Let's pray for our Lord. Please help us to put on our helmet of salvation to protect our thoughts and our minds against the enemy's schemes and plans. Let us rest in our salvation to know that we are saved by faith alone in Jesus. Lord, help us to wear our breastplate of righteousness today to guard our hearts from corruption and evil. Let us walk in righteousness and truth, Lord God, and have pure hearts. Lord, I pray that we help us to wear our belt of truth today, Lord God. Help us to, to speak the truth in love and to walk in integrity. Let integrity and a brightness preserve us today, God, in Jesus' name. I pray for the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Let us fight our battles with the Word today, in Jesus' name, God. We wear our shield of faith, Lord God. We put on our shield and we believe that you are God, that you are king, and that you are moving in the earth today. We trust in you and we block the fiery darts of the enemy. Whatever they may be, doubt, fear, confusion, chaos, strife, we block them all with our shield of faith. And last, we put on our shoes of the gospel of peace. 
This is where we walk in the gospel and we bring peace everywhere we go. And we tell people about Jesus. Help us to wear our armor today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's pray for our unsaved friends today for our prayer journal time. So think about everybody that you know that doesn't know Jesus and begin to, as I pray for my friends, uh, you pray for your friends that don't know Jesus as well. You ready? Lord, thank you for um, all my friends that don't know Jesus. Lord, I really want them to believe in you and know you so they can have eternity in heaven together with me and with you. So I pray for them right now. I pray for my friend Billy and his kids, Jackson and Caleb, help them to believe in you and know you. I pray for my friend Corey. Um, and his brother Travis and Bobby, help them to believe in Jesus and to be saved and to trust in you and follow you. Um, open their eyes to know that you are God. I pray for my friend Fawad and his friend Elizabeth. Bless them. Um, I pray that you lead them to know Jesus Christ. I pray for Dustin and Amana and Owen and Leo. Help their family to come to believe in Jesus and follow you, God. I pray for my friend Rob and Melissa and Zoe and Annabelle. Help them to believe in Jesus and to follow you and to come to know you. In Jesus' name, God, thank you for all the people I know that don't know Jesus. They're wonderful people, and I love them so much. Help me to be able to share and be a witness to tell them uh, that Jesus loves them so that they can believe. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, my name is Big Harry, and I'm not that scary. Pastor Ross told me to come out here and tell you spiritual breakfast is every day at 7.30, Monday through Friday. <coughs> <coughs> Kids Alive Online is at 10 a.m. on Sunday. If you want to find out where in-person gatherings are happening, you got to listen to Pastor Glenn and Pastor Laura at 7 o'clock on Wednesday, and they will tell you. That's it. All right, let me pray a blessing on you as we get ready to start our day. Lord, Please bless and keep everyone that's part of Kids Alive today. I pray that you'd cause your face to shine on each one of us. Fill us with hope and joy and your glory and your power, Lord God. Fill us with your Holy Spirit today. Please go with us wherever we go. Speak to us and guide us and protect us from anything that could hurt or trouble us, Lord God. Surround us with your angels today and help us to bring you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Great job, Kids Alive. We love you and we'll see you back tomorrow. Let's sing. Romans 8.28 says, 